G'day and welcome to Effing One. It's the podcast that delves pants down head first into the 2018 F1 season. Uh, great to have your company. Our second podcast of the season. It's Adam here. And this man to my right, the man that has spent the last two weeks crunching numbers, making sense of everything. He's been locked in a room in solitary confinement with just a calculator, a pan of paella, and a secure line to Barcelona. And no conjugal visits. <laughs> That's not true. I did see someone sneak in. He's out and he desperately needs a shower. That was me in a wig. What is that smell? That, my friends, is the smell of being lost in the woods for a year. That's what a human being smells like. With them being lost for a year. It's a smell of courage. It's a smell of dedication. It's a smell of Luke. Luke, good to see you, big fella. That's the smell of desire to some people. <laughs> open a window. Someone open a window. Crack a window. Crack a window, big fella. Uh, now, of course, this is the only um, F uh, Formula One podcast uh, in Australia, from Australians. But then again, we don't know that for sure. No, we, we don't. We maybe one of Melly. But it's a good. If we say it. It could it's be true. It could be true. No, it is. Yep, it's true. The only if Australian anyone says anything Formula One podcast fake news. Fake news. Uh, let's get straight into it. Of course, uh, the you can check our Effing One podcast. You get a Twitter handle Effing One podcast. Effing One, E F F I N G number one. Thank you. And let's get straight into it because uh, two weeks of testing have been completed. The only test before Melbourne, the first round of the 2018 Formula One Grand Prix season and we turn to you luke can you talk us through the two weeks of testing firstly who looks good who's done the who did the most laps who did the most laps well sebastian vettel did the most laps that's it's good yeah 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 we, we, sure, we're, whatever. Going, we're going with the bruno we do it all the time <laughs> when you do a gay well, an accent it's got to be like a german, german gay, accent. gay accent it makes sense that's understandable uh, yeah, Sebastian Vettel, 643 laps. Holy moly. Valtteri Bottas, 584. Lewis Hamilton, 456. Pierre Gasly in the Toro Rosso Honda. Honda. Uh, 452. And Carlos Sainz rounding up the top five in 444. So just because he did the most number of laps doesn't mean he's got the best car, does it? Yeah, it means he did a lot of laps. That's exactly what that means. It just uh, did a lot of laps. He, he posted the fastest lap time. Of the weekend, which is an unofficial lap record. I don't know why they call it unofficial. I'm guessing because it's not a race weekend. It's not FIA sanctioned. They don't know if the cars are running 20 kilos under weight because there's no scrutiny. That Ferrari looked frighteningly fast on that last day. Superficially, do you think? I mean, is that propped up by a lot of factors that may not have a bearing? I think they tried to push the envelope i still think they've got a little bit in the bag just outside the opponents uh, a bit of that I, I i think mercedes and red bull are, are, have been here too long they're not going to be fooled by that i think they know their pace and they i think mercedes and red bull both know that they're quicker than ferrari and do they use the two weeks to mostly track uh, different tactics and not worry about opponents and a little bit of out cycling, or is that out cycling not really a factor at all? It's not really a factor. It's preseason testing. It's all about finding reliability in the car, finding you know what parts that they've designed work or not. And this is the only time they can test the cars. Uh, the, the yeah, two before weeks. before round one, they do have a mid-season test, I believe, and they're doing Pirelli tests. Each team does one Pirelli test. And then I'll have an end of season test. And first couple of days was awesome. They were building snowmen. Oh, it was snow everywhere in Barcelona. Snow day. I didn't even know it snowed in Barcelona. I did not know. I did not know. It's snow in Barcelona. No snow in Barcelona. What's the deal? It was everywhere. It they, was. They've got a cold snap. It looked though, great. Awesome. Yeah, they called the beast from the east. The beast. Which is what we should call east. Sergei Sorokin. Yeah, except he's like a little, not really a beast. No, uh, no F1 driver's a beast. Maybe Juan Montoya. He was He's a, still beast. a beast. He's a beast. <laughs> so tough conditions. Nothing much in the first couple of days. First week was cold, uh, wet on Tuesday, uh, snow on the Wednesday. Yep. And Thursday was still pretty bad. Uh, some of the teams wanted to change Wednesday to Friday, but Williams had booked the track out. You can try to change Wednesday to Friday, but it's always going to be Wednesday. It will. You I've can tried try it. it. Yeah, me too. I wish Monday was Friday. I wrote to the authorities. Yeah. You know, Greenwich, Greenwich Mean Time. Dear I Greenwich. To them. Yeah. Dear Monday's Greenwich. been great. Wednesday was nice and snowy. Any chance of this being Friday? But can we just move it to Friday? Yeah. And they said no. And some snow. So who who do you like 
out of the test. Did anything surprise you in the two week test? Because you were just sitting yes. there. What what surprised yeah, there, you? There was nights I was up till three a.m. I know. Uh, I was knocking on the door. Luke, do you want some water? Make no, sure you go to the bathroom. No, you can't. No, come in. you can't meet me. No. Uh, there was a few surprises. Oh, man, McLaren had a terrible time. Disappointing. They had a terrible two weeks. They had poor reliability. They had engine. They had oil leaks. Uh, they had just. They just had electrical failures. And can't blame the engine boys. No, they can't. Sorry. And the, like sorry, the, the first first day, within I think it was seventh lap that Alonso was doing, his wheel came off. His left. Pretty rear. sure that's not Renault's fault. No, no, unless that or Honda's um, fault for that matter. No. They're probably still blaming Honda. <laughs> Honda's throwing sushi yeah. on the track. <laughs> Uh, it slipped on the sushi roll on a Californian. Very slippery. Very they slippery. are delightful, those Californian rolls. <laughs> um, yeah, so Fernando did limited running in the first week. But they just had issues. Like They, they looked like a brand new team. They looked, yeah. they looked terrible. Like I, I even saw videos of some of their pit stop practices. Mm. And they dropped the car. Yeah. It fell off a jack. And then another time they went, they put the wrong <laughs> wheels on the wrong side. And <laughs> I they, saw that. They weren't getting on. And then they've, someone's put Benny Hill music too. Whoever did that was a magician. Then they had one guy ran over to the other side, picked up the wheel, yeah. ran back to the other and side. If you and want to see it, on. go to the uh, Twitter uh, page, FE1 yep. podcast. FE1 podcast. You'll see the whole f- uh, ridiculous scenario. It, it's just embarrassing. So funny. But awesome. But yeah, then another one, they've just lifted him up on the rear jack. And you and see the guy in the rear, the was just, just he was slipped. pissing himself. Yeah. He got to the point like, where he just oh, thought, this is ridiculous. Really? Someone's filming this. <laughs> uh, and it, 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 just, it looked amateur hour. And it's a shame because that's a team that um, we've kind of picked as a big improver yeah. for this year. We thought McLaren would be kind well, of Well, they're going right. to be a big improver because they're shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're only going to go up. Yeah, they can only go up. But yeah. not, maybe not as far up as we thought they might go. Well, if they can put all wheels on their car, that's a good start. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's what testing's for, testing to put wheels on. Yep. The other teams were running laps. These guys try and put a wheel on. Yep. When Alonso spun off, of course, he damaged the car, damaged the uh, the floor of the car, and he was he was out for half the day. So in terms of the pecking order of where you thought they would be sitting before testing and now post-test, has anything changed for you? Yes. What's what's this? Are you still thinking the top three are the top three? Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull in that order? That's, no, it's changed. Yes, same top three, but I think it's going to be Mercedes slightly ahead on quality because of their power boost. Yep. Um, and then you've got, I believe, Red Bull, then Ferrari. Red Bull is leapfrog Ferrari. Yes, you heard it here first. Despite the fact that Ferrari is so fast on that last test. Yes. And the, any factors in there that would make you think that was Red Bull not showing their hand entirely? Uh, Ricardo did a an eighteen zero, which was at the time a new lap record, an official lap record. Uh, but then he ran eight laps after it, so he had some fuel on board when he did that lap. Uh, Sebastian Vettel uh, did his seventeen zero, so it's a second quicker. Yep. But he did it sort of. I think it was his second last lap before he pitted. Um, Light fuel load. But then when a lot of the guys, uh, Red Bull and Mercedes. Mercedes didn't take a Hypersoft there. They only, they didn't use one at all. So they didn't use the new tyre, which I can kind of understand because why are you going to use a Hypersoft when you're not using a Hypersoft until Canada, which is, I think, in June. Yeah, right. So they go back to Europe. What's the point of testing it if you're not going to use it for so long? Well, yeah, I'm, like it's a really only test session, but I, I, I think there's going to be no surprises from it. You know, the test they did in Abu Dhabi after the last race, they would have got an insight into it. Yep. Into the so that was smart from Mercedes. They're just testing tyres that they can actually use yep. for the first bit. I think uh, <coughs> drivers just wanted to know how the Hypersoft felt. But Ferrari put their foot down to show. But apparently Sebastian Vettel lifted um, in the last sector a little bit. Yep. So he may have gone quicker. Foxy those Ferrari yeah. people. <laughs> oh. But, yeah, I, th- I think there's... From that point on, I... I underrated Haas. So they're a big improver. I think Because we put them right at the back of the field. I did. We put them there with Sauber. Yep. And now suddenly we're thinking, what, Haas is up there? Yes. In front of McLaren? Going by some long run pace, they did a decent job. Uh, I think they're probably, their midfield, uh, I I think there's, Force India were 
were poor. Um, we expected that. This year I did. We expected I, I expected back. a few people to, to leapfrog. I didn't expect Toro Rosso to have such a decent week with Honda, two mm-hmm. weeks with Honda, but they put some big miles on. You know, they're doing 150 laps a day, which is a couple of Grand Prix. I kind of quietly, something inside me would love Honda to do well. Oh, it'll, just something. <laughs> it'll just happen. be quite. And McLaren will just be. And then Red Bull, Red Bull goes, you know what? Let's just take that Honda next year. We'll just go with that because yeah. that's an awesome engine now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what about... Apparently back- the body language of Force India drivers has been a bit bit melancholy. Oh, They've yeah. taken a page out of Bottas. Oh, Bottas. Um, and you don't expect that from a Frenchman and a Mexican. You expect some but fireworks. spicy baguettes. Sure. But disappointing. Disappointing. So Force India, not great. Haas, much improved, we're thinking. Haas has pulled one out. Yep. We're thinking... <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. You took two weeks in the dark room and this is what you've become. Not only do you smell bad, but you're, you're getting all blue on me. Don't get too blue. Uh, so where's Huss sitting? Around the Renault area? The Renault? Is that what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. Really? Mm. I think Toro Rosso did really well. And for the first few races, <coughs> I think they'll be above Renault, Haas, um, and then sort of drop off as the season you go goes to on. McLaren, your Sauber, your Force India Williams. That's my post-test predictions. Sorry, say it again. We're going to go Mercedes. Going to go Mercedes. Red Bull. Red Bull. Ferrari. Third best. Scuderia Toro Rosso. Toro Rosso. Uh, the Renault. It's Rosso, Renault. really? Toro Rosso that high? Yeah. And then to for what? the start, I think and they'll peter off. Peter off, yeah. But I think they've got good reliability. And the drivers are both pretty rookie-ish, so that might hold them back. Yep. Renault has a great driver lineup, and I think their driver lineup will maybe jump them after three races. Yep. Uh, once Renault brings in, they'll bring in a B spec car with their their new designer, yep. and that'll that'll jump them. And then Haas, Haas has pulled something out of the out of the bag. Temporary, you think? I don't think it's long lasting. I I don't think their development is up to the standards of McLaren's, and I think McLaren will jump them. Once they get a yep. handle on things, you know, uh, Fernando Alonso is saying, oh, uh, we don't really need the last day of testing. We, we've we tested everything we need. We're quite happy with how everything's going. And then his last day, he, he had to stop the, the car at turn seven. <laughs> I'm like, well, you didn't need that last day, you said. But, so you just pulled it over and parked it. S- saved some fuel. But Sauber, Sauber did a good job. Like, they were decently quick. Uh, Charles Leclerc, he... He, he had a few spins, had probably too many spins than he would have liked. He's learning the car, uh, but they've now got a current spec Ferrari engine in the back of it where before they are using a year-old engine. Mm. So now they're getting the full power that they've had before and it's, yep. it's good for them. Now they've got the Alpha name to it. So Ferrari have obviously own, the Fiat group own Alpha Romeo, so they want to make sure that Alpha looks decent. Yep. So I don't think they'll be at the back. Force India... It's pink. It's white because we didn't get to talk about them. Pink and white? Liveries. No, we didn't see that. Um, and the Williams. Can we bring that up later? Can we have a look at the... Uh, we can. The Force India? Yeah. So Force India at, towards the end and who have we got last? Mm-hmm. Who's the... Who are we tipping to be the worst car? Williams. <sighs> and, and I really think their driver lineup is going to hurt them. Yeah. Not good. Because they'll need to capitalize on any chance that they get to score points. Yep. And I don't think Sergei Sorokin... And it's not the best driver, Lama. That, not even Sergei Sorokin, b- I rate. I think he's a decent driver. They've got better I think drivers. He's Formula One capability. Lance Stroll. Sorry, Lance. I know you're not listening. Sorry, Lance. And you don't take criticism very well. Uh, but I don't think he's he's going to do any good. I think Robert will step in. I think he'll get a race seat by the end of the year. I reckon they'll boot one of them by mid-season. Go, That's your tip. Hot tip. You Kubica in. In. Bring the pole in. Yep. He deserves a crack. Yeah. For sure. Everyone wants to get With on one the arm, he's still faster than those other two clowns. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw saw the onboard footage of him driving and he's... Is it quite he's obvious? He's resting his... No. Like the heel of his hand to push it through a corner. But you see, he can't grip as it goes around. He can't rotate his wrist. The guy's still quick. He That's was crazy. He was quickest of Williams until the last day when Sorokin past his, his lap time. That's crazy. So one's just kind of resting on the steering wheel. Yeah. You can drive it one-handed. That's crazy. But he is a Is freak. he changing gears with both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I was going to say that would be hard work. Michael <laughs> Schumacher used to, he had a, a thing in Ferrari where he could, he could take one hand off because you normally pull back for a gear, but he could take his hand off and he could push the f- paddle forward and that would go up a gear. Oh, wow. Instead of like on the left hand side, which is normally down, but if he pushed it forward, it but would go up. But he was up. kind of a god. He, he is a god. He's kind of a god. All praise. When I say, I don't, shouldn't say was, well, sorry, but that's he's, he's, not in the past tense. Well, he, he is a god. He is. But, it, but when he was driving, have I, <laughs> do I offend anyone? I hope not. No. What a genius. He um, is a genius. I, I've, I've met the guy. He's actually a genuinely nice man. Big fan of yours. Always speaks highly of you. And says hi to your mum, which is nice. <laughs> He always Everyone says, always says hi to my mum. I don't know what mum's saying. Something about to. your mum, though. She's really nice and she makes the She's nicest scones. Just lovely. So, should we move on from testing? Do you have more to add for the test? I have heaps some more on testing, thoughts. but I don't want to bog no, no, no. down in it. No, we want some more. Give you it to want us. More. Yeah, yeah. Well, where do you want to start? We can start at the start. Do I have to do the intro again? No, no. that doesn't make any sense. No. Let's not do that. Let's just go more testing. So, day one. Day one. It was cold. Heaps of laps on the team. This was before the snow hit. Uh, Ricardo was quickest. Fourth for Hulkenberg. Alonso's rear came off. 93 laps for the Kiwi kid. Yep. Uh, Ricardo did 105 laps. So that's, that's like nearly two Grand Prix distance. That's better than last year in yep. testing. Getting a lot more Ended laps in. in rain. Uh, day two, I prefer to call it hyper cold. Hyper cold. <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Uh, snow was present in the paddock during the day. Uh, there was no lunch, lack of rounding during the cold. Vettel found the gravel. Max had a fuel leak. Uh, Charlotte Clerk. They did some great angels though in the sand, mm. in the snow, mm. with the very pretty angels. Very beautiful. Pretty angels. I pretty angels. Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, let's go into the snow and put some <laughs> angels. It's too cold out here. <laughs> it's always the Germans. The, always sorry, <laughs> it's always the German <laughs> guy. Germans. Uh, Kubica jumped in for the Arvo. Was quicker than Sorokin and Stroll. Vettel's uh, first man under the. How did suck my balls go? Suck my balls. He uh, went off. He, he spun off at turn four. Suck my balls got off. He, he got off uh, at turn four, but he carried on as as you would. Uh, Vettel ended the second day quickest. Uh, there was a new TV platform put online. They're saying, hey, come to F1 TV. It's an online subscription. Yep. But we're not going to get it in Australia. Okay. Or the UK. There's a lot we, of shit we don't we get. We have right? a Sky F1 deal. Right. And they said they're going to block VPNs, which is a virtual yeah, private right. network. So if you want to log in as you're in another yeah, country, yeah, yeah, yeah. it goes, oh, we know you're in another country. Um, we still don't, we're not going to get all the races live on free to air TV again, are we? We're going to no. get every second one or every third one. Yeah. That does you my head in. Just come over and watch pay TV online. I'm going to have to. And we're going to call the race. I'm just going to make an excuse to my wife. I'm just going to say, honey, we're podcasting every single race. Yeah, we have live. to. We have to. We have to. It's for our listeners. Yes. It's the. 37. How many do we have now? <laughs> there's a lot there. there there's more than there was there's yesterday. There's more than there was the other day. When right. we were, there's a lot of listeners there. There is. And thanks for listening, guys. We appreciate it. By the way, the, it's and been raining see, here. Very wet. You, it's 37. 37. 37. That's a lot of listeners. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I'm happy that I was, I was pumped when we got to 10. Yeah, and some of those aren't family. No. That's nice. No, I don't have that many family. Yeah. And none of them will listen. They're mostly your family. Yeah. And my brother, who says he's watching, but he's actually masturbating in the room because he doesn't leave the. And good on him. But good I, for him. I think you should. I think you should have a bit of a nice retraction. to have hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> but just Pete, if you are listening, just look after you. Just get some moisturizer or something. Pete, go easy. Take if, care of it. Every second day. Enjoy it. Every second day. Just give yourself a, it's a break. Toy. It's Try fun. another hand. Yeah. <laughs> you lay on your head, give yourself a dead hand. Is your so we've been to listened to in the United States. That's awesome. We've had four people. I don't know anyone. How do USA? States. What's going on there, mister? Howdy, y'all. We love y'all. Maybe they're not from we the love South. Y'all. No, that's Maybe true. Maybe they're high end. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, you put some balls <laughs> hey, here. I'm walking hey, here. thanks for listening to the podcast, you guys. I'm really talking appreciate it. Hey. And what are you going to do for LA? Uh. <laughs> Hey man, what's going on? Like a surfer guy? Should we do a okay, surfer? Yeah, Let's rock and roll, man. Yeah, bro. This Come is why on. You do the impersonations. I they can't do any impersonations. It's better than your gay German one. No way. That's my fave. <laughs> that's the only one I can do. That's what I revert to all do the time. Do it so well. What? This one? You're crazy. <laughs> Should we just edit this whole part out? No. 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 We're it stays in, in the podcast. What them. happens in the podcast? Hi to everyone around the world. We're going to try and break the UK. Or Europe gets. We're going to get. We want one listener in the UK. If you know any anyone listening in America right now, 
If you know anyone in the UK, give them a text and just say, hey, for shits and giggles, have a listen. Listen to these idiots. And if you don't like, if you don't like the podcast, tell your enemies. Say, hey, yeah. have a have a listen to this. You really heard enjoy something it. really funny. Yeah, and they go, damn you, eggs on your face. <laughs> Those guys are dicks. <laughs> 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 Suck it, enemy. If you love it, tell your friends. If you hate it, hate tell, it your tell, your, tell your enemies. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> more, uh, of, more of testing. Let's go back to that. Let's go to testing. Uh, yeah, so F1 TV platform. Haas had a shit day. Things kept falling What day are we car. up to now? We're still on day two. Jeez, come on, mate. We're <laughs> this podcast. We went, we went let's get through off. these days. No, all right. Okay. <laughs> Early quote from the douche canoe. Oh, with no a real douche. understanding of whether good weather was coming or not, I took the decision to sacrifice that time in order for the team to gain a better understanding of the oh. car going through the run plan. He's such a douche canoe. Doesn't he live up to his name? He, I reckon his he nickname. smells his own farts. I reckon he farts. And he goes, cups it. He cups it. Yeah. That's Hamilton. He's the kind That's of guy... probably going to be a fragrance one day. Yeah. Douche canoe he's the, he's the one guy that he won't do a shoey. He's that kind of douche. Oh, Bottas, also another douche. Also. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I don't do. Sorry, anything. I don't do that. I'm I, so sorry. I'm Lewis Hamilton. I don't do a shoey. It's unhygienic. It uh, probably smells as got foot fungus. <laughs> Come on, have a laugh. Relax. Jeez, get a What's personality, the worst mate. That could happen? Dan Ricciardo, give that Can man some lessons. Can you get gout in your mouth? No. Well, it's fine. See? Clinically Fine. tested. No problem. Day three, snow day. Bugger all running. More snow. Um, the, the gas man appreciated love our Love the tiles, gas man. And he chose the gas man. We love Good you, on Dan. him. We love you, Gasly. He went to our Twitter and he voted for his own nickname. Good on him. Tip the cap to you, sir, yeah. gas man. Well and done, gas man. it wasn't in vain because his nickname that he chose ended up being the nickname that we're going to adopt. We'll get into that further shortly with the nicknames. Really soon. But so, thank you for voting. Final day, week one. Yes, yeah, snow day, nothing. It looked really pretty. And they they had a they made a little snowman called, and they called him Snowto, like Toto Wolf. Oh, but they called him can Snowto. I do my accent? Can Hi, guys. <laughs> what's happening? I'm a Snowto Wolfies. How about you add a bit of Arnie to that? Hey, guys. What's happening? <laughs> It's Gayani, everyone. It's gay. <laughs> uh, no more impersonation. Uh, yeah, there were there were heaps of tweets. It was probably the only thing that happened on that snow day, uh, and heaps of things about Homer Simpson and Mister Plough. Yep. Uh, day final four. day week one started with West enters and onto six. When everyone, any time anyone went way quicker, Twitter went mad. Oh look, he's going quicker. Oh now he's quicker. Now he's quicker. It's Gas Man, Waffle, Mister Melancholy, Finger Boy, Hulkenberg. All went quicker. Yep. Don't care. Yeah. Don't care. No. It was a wasted day. Wasted my day. Waffle yep. did over 100 laps, which was good for uh, McLaren on the hyper softs, or as I like to call them, the really, really, really softs. <laughs> and he had a bit of a diversion into the gravel, but uh, that's where McLarens live most nowadays. Yeah. Uh, driver swapped in Yavo, Bottas, Hamilton, Siroc and Stroll, Hulkenberg, Sainz, Van Dorn, Alonso, Ericsson and Leclerc. Funny thing that happened on the Sauber Twitter about Marcus Ericsson. Mm. They have a hashtag ME9, so Marcus Ericsson and he's race number nine. The stay-at-home The stay-at-home Viking, Viking or the <coughs> pay driver. We haven't decided it. Mm. We'll find out. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Uh, he, <laughs> They put uh, his M and then the British pound symbol uh. and nine. Pay, pay driver. driver. Pay driver. <laughs> pay, it's, it's confirmed. Just proof. It's and proof. I, and they, and they, someone said, oh, you might want to change that on, as one of the replies. And like, oh, I don't think anyone will notice. <laughs> oh, we noticed. Effing one noticed. Oh, we noticed. Proof. Nice. Pay driver. Yeah. Ikea uh, paying every cent of his drive. Finger boy said at the end of the first week he wants to bring the championship back to Mar uh, Marinello. Also says the Mercedes are the team to beat. Of course they are. Finger boy is in Vettel. Yes. Finger boy. Finger boy. It's like Astro boy. Yeah. Finger yeah. boy. Uh, Toro Rosso did 324 laps. Impressive. More than any other team in the first week. Impressive. Honda's turned a corner. Definitely more reliable. Top speed was equal to Mercedes. Uh, only behind Suck My Balls in the Haas. Yep. And the Finger Boys Ferrari. Red Bull had some leaks. Third slowest team, mileage. Third lowest team for mileage. Max had two leaks and a little off. 
Ricardo had a little spin as well. Yep. But not in the wall. Didn't damage anything. We forgive him. He's he awesome. was just picking up some gravel. Said, "Hey guys, <laughs> can you clean this out?" It's some like a like a cleanse for the radiator. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's got fans in the corner. Just Another going, hey, thing guys. that happened to McLaren: a two pound par, which is about one hundred and fifty dollars Australian, I think, for the current conversion. Two rate. two pound. Two pound. Yeah, I think yeah. the conversion. Yeah, one hundred and fifty. Makes sense. Uh, a bolt failed, oh. so the bolt that held on the exhaust failed. So the exhaust moved, burnt parts of the car, and that put them out for a, a Oh, you're series. kidding me. No. So they're just, they're running on Honda cylinders. Wow. Of last year. They're, they've got a Renault in the back. There's nothing else, but there's just flaws in, in what's a, going on. That it's not the engine. That's the problem at the moment. Eric Boulier, Frenchman, he said, uh, it was a two-pound problem that cost us a lot of track time. Because everything was burned after the back of the car, so we had to rebuild the gearbox and the back end. I think that's a pretty good accent. That's a pretty good French accent you've done there. Oui. Oh, I would have liked to have seen a bit more haughty oh, toity on it. Next one. If I get to go, if I if I quote Pierre Gasly go or full Romain Grosjean and on. Oh. Oh. Give it more uh, like oh. this. Uh, a Pepe spit Le Pew. in your face, you dirty, ah, dirty you swan. Yeah. No good work. Uh, week two. Week two, no snow. No snow. Snow's cleared up. Sunny, warm track, 31 degrees We're Celsius. Getting some good track. laps in here. Uh, McLaren would have wanted a better start today. Only managed four laps after losing three hours before returning for three installation laps and a virtual safety car te- uh, test. So they test the new the virtual safety car laps to make sure everything's yep. everyone's adhering and everything yep. runs properly the way it should and keep to their delta times that they need to. Yep. Um, had a double electrical shutdown. They had a few days in between, weird how and why this can happen. You know, you have a few days off. Mm. The car was running reliable day four. What changes now that you have, you know, some unreliability of electrical components? Um, Mm. Then post-lunch, they had a hydraulic issue stopping Waffle at uh, turn three. Yeah. Mm. Merck, Ferrari and Red Bull managing 80 plus laps in the morning. Um, I think maybe... F1 drivers should time their toilet breaks so that they're busting. This is just an idea. When yeah. we get to F1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we get to the race. Yep. Busting with 10 laps to go. So they're going to drive faster. Or else they're going to piss themselves. Hey. That's a good idea. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. Oh, I really Maybe they should be forced to have a toilet stop. Yeah. Like Jump a, out. Two toilet stops. Into There's a, a port Number one and then number two. <laughs> and then... So... So they've got to do a two toilet stop, and you've got to be a portaloo, and there's someone in front of you. So you've got to wait. <laughs> like a like a water. It's like a official. concert. Yeah. You're just looking, going. That's not a number yeah. two. That's not. What do you call that a number two? <laughs> Try again. It smells bad, but there's not much residue. <laughs> well, you hope you're an efficient pooer. You could you well, you could train yourself. You could be in serious training. You you know. We should try. We that. could talk about this later. Yeah. But that's a great Maybe idea. Off-air. Well, we have got a segment coming up calling ways to what are we calling it? Spark up F one. Spice up. Spark Spice. up. Spark up. I like spark up. I do. I do it's too. It's got the titanium skid. Yeah. In the back. We've got a oh. news, and we want our, uh, followers to help us out with a vote. I think might be good. When we put it to the people, yep. we vote on an element, a couple of elements that could spice up. Or and then we'll Formula start one. a petition. Yeah. And we'll hit the streets. We'll hit the streets. We'll hit the a streets. Street. Yeah. Of liberty. We'll hit the liberty headquarters. With eggs. Yeah. And suggestions on eggs. Bring back Bernie. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, fuck no. Bernie. Actually, keep Bernie. You can, he's been... Um, Bernie, hurry up and buy Force India. He's not actually a lot. He's actually pickled, isn't he? He's like a... He's, not he's actually, in suspended animation. Yeah, yeah. They're going to bring him back. <laughs> he's like Walt Disney. Yeah. He'll, he'll die, but he'll still be there. They'll bring him back later. Uh, so, day two. Day two. Again, good weather. Of the second week. Day of two, the second week. Second week. <laughs> We're not going to go back to the first week. No, no. That was, a, that was 20 minutes ago. Yep. Uh, Danny Ricciardo broke the lap record with the new configuration. Of course, unofficial. They did eight laps after it. So low fuel on the hype soft. Uh, McLaren stopped with Alonso. Smoke coming out of the airbox in the rear end. Turns out to be an oil leak. McLaren now least amount of laps. Big laps for top teams. Kimi was ill and missed the morning. Sebastian stepped in after his mammoth 160 lap day the day before. Ricciardo... Mercedes and Bottas in a Hamilton did over 150 laps. So Ricardo on his own did over 150 and Bottas and Hamilton shared the duties also did over 150 laps. Renault doing some great long runs. 
Hartley had a spin, caused a red flag. Uh, Alpha had a late spin for rookie Leclerc or general admin. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Could we'll be the find clerk. out soon. Which nickname uh, stuck? We don't know. He managed a total of 160 laps, which is pretty good. good. It's impressive. Um, that spin was very late, like it was within the last 10 minutes, and it it only really impeded one team, and that was McLaren because they were just about to go out to do a run That's with what they about do. 13 minutes to go, and he spun red flag. End of the day. Day three. Everyone is saying penultimate day. It's the penultimate day of the test. Because everyone loves that word. Why don't you say second last? I know yeah. it's fancy. No. Do you like penultimate? Not really. No. No, I don't like it. Sounds just go bad. second last. Second last. Yeah, second don't, last. Don't be, just, don't be so fancy. Just give it to us. So my Twitter feed was penultimate, 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 yep. et cetera, et cetera. The last two days of the business end of testing, everyone's starting putting some Melbourne spec parts on the car, turning the wick up. Do Ooh. you know what Ferrari were doing? They were putting a smoke screen at the front of their garage so when the car would come out... Some dry ice? Out. I don't know if it was dry ice. I don't know if they were burning oil. A little oil. barbecuing? A little bit of a... They had a Weber at the front just <laughs> yeah. burning. Bloody. Burning yeah. the steaks again. Get the Webers fired up. Make it, maybe they were making a wood fire pizza. They might, so anything, they had anything that... Anything combustible. Put in They front, were doing it. Put some smoke up. Because they, they don't want photographers to take photos of their car. Come on! Even though they'll be driving around the track. And it's too late for anyone to make a change anyway. Yeah. No one's going to look at that and go, oh, we should, let's just copy that front wing. The funny in thing is, one day. That no one's going to copy the third place car. Good call. It's like, oh, 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 I'll copy the third place car. Yeah, yeah. Because they've got something going to yeah. make them third. Maybe if you're Williams. Yeah. But the thing is, you can't, you can't grab a front wing. From a Mercedes and chuck it on a Renault or a Force India because everything is designed as a philosophy of the car, how air travels around the car. Right. You put a front wing on another car. That's designed for another car. It's not going to work. It's not going to work the same way. No. Idiots. Idiots. I don't get why they do that. It's just the Italian way. Because everyone uh, is trying to copy us. So of no, well, they can't. think that. They really they think really that. They really think that. And they're on track driving around all day. Doing yeah, 180 right. laps. We can take I'm a photo sure of it. I could take a high-speed shot yeah. of a still Ferrari, stop it with yeah. an 8,000th of a second photo, and yeah. go, look, I can see every detail in your car. Suck it. Yeah. Smoke screen. Don't care. It's just kind of weird. They're the only team that kind of did it. Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. But they're argy-bargy. Their elbows out. They're pushing people out. They over. will get cooler when Dan moves over to Ferrari. It'll become a cooler outfit. Well, <clears> I liked Ferrari when Schumacher was there. Well, yeah. It was a glory days. Oh, what a great man. Uh, Ex-F1 driver Karun Chanduk did some fuel-corrected laps time estimates for the long runs, and he found a pecking order. Mm. Uh, Ricardo, Hamilton, Vettel, Sainz, Grosjean, <coughs> Stroll, Alonso, Ocon, and Hartley, um, all within two seconds of each other, with Ricardo and Hamilton quite quick and close together. So this is his prediction with... Some sort of formula he's come up with as to who's got the fastest car, who's driving fastest yeah. from that last. So week. it was based on the second last. It was based on the second day numbers. Yep. Um, he said number crunching this morning. Looking, I'm not going to do a car on Chanduk impersonation. No, it's okay. You don't have to. Because it's Indian slash yeah. British, and it could sound come off a bit racist. Could don't need to do we that. We can do everyone else. But yeah. We can't it's, do. Yeah. yeah. You can make fun of a German person. <laughs> That's fine. They're all gay. Yeah. <laughs> number <laughs> number crunching this morning, looking at yesterday's lap times. This is what I reckon the times were adjusted to soft tyre and fuel corrected. So Red Bull, a little bit quicker than Hamilton. So Vettel, he's, th this dude is saying that Red Bull and Ricardo is faster than Hamilton. In uh, race pace, yes. In race pace. So therefore, a prediction going forth is that Red Bull is faster than Mercedes-Benz. This is. Are you prediction. kidding me? No. You're getting excited. I'm getting excited. I have I'm to move a little bit further away just because of your excitement. Showing. It's pretty exciting. Uh, Verstappen suffered a lot of slip during his medium tyre run, something that Mercedes didn't have issues with. Some teams turn on tyres better than others. Um, Mercedes can obviously turn on their tyre better and get it working mm. in that tyre temperature range that they need to. Verstappen had a bit of struggle, a bit of slip. Um this is all coming from journalists who are at the track talking about which car behaves which way. Uh, I was getting quicker and quicker. Vettel is constantly breaking track records with a 17.6, a 17.2, a 
Um, apparently, he was a bit slow in the last takedown. Yet yeah, we're not been, rating him. That seems weird zero. that he's breaking so many records, and yet we're not really talking about F- Ferrari and Vettel. Well, that'll be a very, very nice number three. <laughs> with a smoke screen, with a little barbecue at the front. I hope they keep the smoke screen. I hope they do all season. Don't. Hey, please, don't look at their uh, wings. Yeah. It's a very nice wing. They should put, uh, hopefully, they'll have smoke coming out of the back. Don't of the try to copy your number three best car. <laughs> but we are third. Please. Watch. Oh, it's suddenly gone Russian. No, you've gone, you've gone Russian. Ferrari Russian. Sorry. I told you I can't do accents. You you can. It's just, just not very poorly. well. <laughs> uh, what are we looking at? Uh, McLaren spent nearly two hours in the pits. Again. Jeez. Haas showing some decent pace with some 18 threes on really softs. So that's just super softs. Yep. Uh, Gasman also did an 18 three, which is only three tenths off Ricardo did the day before. Uh, Qubits are putting in Williams fastest laps of the test so far. Good day for McLaren racking up over 150 laps with Waffle and it was their best day of the winter test. Day four, final day. I know. You've nearly This is where asleep. Ferrari starts kicking it. Yeah. Kimi went quickest, close to Fingerboy's time. He said he could have gone quicker. He always says that. Mm. Well, could have gone quicker. Hey guys! Guys! Where's my steering wheel? Hey, guys! <laughs> Where's my tyres? They always forget the steering wheel. I think that's why he could have gone quicker he could if he had a steering wheel. It would have helped. It's really hard to steer it without a steering wheel. Not easy. No. Just this thing that comes up and you've got to grip it. Not easy. You need some pliers. Pliers. At least some pliers. They should have a, some safety bits and pieces in there just in case. <laughs> just a mini toolbox. Yeah, a little in case I, the steering wheel comes I off. I like that you, idea. Yeah. Uh, Cubata gave up his morning because he's such a lovely fella. The, the uh, Polish fans weren't happy at the track. Can imagine. Well, he should be driving. He should be. Should be the number they one driver. They went to see him, and he wasn't there. He wasn't out on track. But uh, some decent laps for Sergei Sorokin. Again, Ferrari smoke screening because they're so important. Barbecues galore. Haas, not the avocados. They look decent and came good in the second week. Force India. This is sort of my roundup. Oh, this is a roundup. Okay, so a roundup of I'm testing. Going straight into it without it's, even intro. I saw that. I'm going to make it easier for you. So roundup. Well said. Round up. Could you say that again? So, give us a round up. Okay. Uh, Haas, not the avocados. I'll say that again because I, I was actually quite proud of myself. When I funny. That. It's funny. Uh, yeah, thanks for laughing. <laughs> they looked decent and came good in the second week. They they did. They genuinely did look decent. The car still looks horrible, but the pace was there. Four Cindy and Williams are in for a tough year. I expect Kubica might get some test seat time in FP1s to help the inexperienced driver line up of Daddy Boys and Rusky, just to sort of give them a step which way they should set the car up because the other two won't know what they're doing. Uh, McLaren shown um, they were slow in a straight line. Maybe they had uh, the Red Bull philosophy and gone with too much downforce because mm. that's what Red Bull tend to do. Like, we've got a quick car around corners. Good corners. And with the Renault engine, we're rubbish in they the straight. have to kind of lower their downforce. Yeah, like right. McLaren's going, we can run the full downforce. Right. Maybe that's what they're doing with Honda. Ran too much downforce. We're really quick in corners. Of course you are. You've got so much drag and downforce. <laughs> oh, McLaren. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they're going to be in so much trouble. They're... Oh, McLaren. You've done it again. <laughs> oh, McLaren. Who are you going to blame this year? Hmm? Yeah, who can hmm? you blame now, McLaren? If if they keep this trend... <laughs> they could. Alonso... Gone. Gone. Well, That's he's got a lot, he's got options. He's not short of an option. If if McLaren is shit this year, he'll might do the Indy five hundred. He probably won't. But if McLaren is shit, he'll go to Renault next year. He'll go back to the team that he won the championships with. Yep. Because Sainz or Hulkenberg will go to a team. Hulkenberg will either go to Mercedes, Sainz will either go to Red Bull if Ricardo leaves. Yep, which he will. Which he will. And then you've got the Fonz. Fonzarelli's back where he belongs. The racing Caterpillar into, into Renault, his old team. Construction. He's uh, construction. Construction. <laughs> construction. That's what that is. Back into a constructor. Yeah, uh, this this could be an embarrassing year. Um, Toro Rosso, great days, decent pace, and will start higher in the midfield than they have previously. Sauber are very happy with their, their engines. Uh Leclerc, 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 general admin, the Monegasque magician, which never made the cut. Didn't make it. No. Uh, Leclerc might have to change his name from general admin to general disarray. <laughs> general discharge. 
If, if anyone knows South Park, they'll know who General Disarray is. Uh, he had he had a few offs that he probably should have had. Renault looked good in week one. Week two, nothing but eye-catching. Great-looking car. Good-looking car. On a lot of uh, F1 sites, it was voted the best-looking car. Really? Yep. As it's not that surprising. what we said. Well, we did say that. We like the we like the Red Bull with the yeah. I mean that was good, but now it's not so good. Yeah, it's a shame they could have kept that anyway. Uh, Red Bull and Merck went for some racing simulations, and Merck didn't run the Hypersofts. Um, as I said, they won't be seen to the Canadian Grand Prix. Ricardo did close to his PB lap on uh, some super softs or really softs, <laughs> where he did his PB on the Hypersofts on day two. The track got quicker and quicker. It's been newly resurfaced, so each day more rubber goes down, but everything kept quicker. <laughs> <laughs> You're a passionate man. <laughs> 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 it's a butterfly. Classic. That's a funny one. Good job. <laughs> I don't know why we're laughing. For those of you at home, <laughs> my eyes are watering. There's just there's, and I there's had some moisture. Nose dripping. There's moisture. You're a passionate <laughs> man. That, that can right. happen. It glistened. It, it was. Uh, it probably got to about three inches from my nose. You remind me of like a, a a Spanish bull about to run towards that red little that little flag. I'm so glad Ooh, you got to that, see that. It was just. It's a shame everyone else missed it. But nah, that's good. It was enjoyable. I enjoyed that. It's a good way to wrap up that segment. Have we finished with... Te- no, we're still going with testing? Last day? No, we're done? We're done. So we liking just rounding up, summarising. Oh, we're doing the roundup again. Yeah, I just want to just confirm that you like Red Bull uh, equally as well as Mercedes-Benz I'm with biased. Ferrari third. I want Ricardo to win the World Championship and I want Ricardo to win the Australian Grand Prix even though I won't be there. No, we all do. Even people that don't like Dan. Want him to win. But I think it'll be a Red Bull 1 2. Boom. For the season? No, I, I've said oh, in- at the season it's going to be a tie on points between Max and Ricardo. But the first race, Albert Park, will be Dan, Daniel, and Max Verstappen with Hamilton following the, plugs, in the yeah. rear. The douche canoe. The douche canoe bringing up. Third. Good segue. Shall we get into the voting online for our favourite? Nicknames. Yes. What happened there? Are you okay? Did yeah. you just pause stuff? Something? No. Oh, no, we're still going. We're on. We're live. And we're back. We didn't go anywhere. Let's get into favorite nicknames. Uh, we had an online poll on the Effing One podcast Twitter page. Thanks for voting. We had a lot of votes. We did. Can you tell us how many total votes we had there, Luke? Do we have that figure? No. No. <laughs> just <laughs> guess. What do you? Re- how many do you reckon we had? We had a lot, hundreds. Actually, no, that looks like thousands to me. Luke, it looks like thousands. It looks like. But you may need your your eyes. I may check. be adding a few no, more than we actually got. But great, and we had Formula One driver vote for his own nickname. I think that's pretty cool. That's great. That's awesome. Thank you, Pierre. Um, gas man. So yes, let's man. get into our favorite nicknames. What has won favorite nicknames? Can we go from the top? With Lewis Hamilton, well, the options were Hollywood and the Douche Canoe. Voted lots. Drum roll, please. The winner. And the name we'll be running with for the whole season. And forever. We'll no longer mention the word Hamilton ever again. It's going to be... The Douche Canoe. The Douche Canoe. <laughs> Lock it in, folks. The Douche Canoe is Hamilton's name. It was a 100% vote. A 100%. No one wanted Hollywood. That seems high. It does seem that high. That seems like a high number. <laughs> but it was an accurate choice. Well done, voters. And you well, voted correctly. Well done to you, voters. The Douche Canoe is the winner. Um, then we're moving on to Valtteri Bottas. And options are... Mr. Mr. Melancholy. Mr. Melancholy. And or the other Finn. The other Finn. And can we have a drum roll, please? We're doing a drum roll. <laughs> Do we have to do this for every single no, one of them? No, no, think, no. I think this is it. All them, right. For the drum roll. What is it? Is it Mr. Melancholy or the other Finn? The other Finn. Oh! The, the other, other Finn, Finn wins in a canter. Love it. Love that. With a with a with an easy strike rate of 80%. 80%. The other Finn. That is huge. Let's go to Sebastian Vettel. 
He had two choices, the Brat and Finger Boy, two great choices. Yep. I chucked this on one of the Sky F1 tweets and it got a very good feedback. Uh, close. It looks close. It's close, but the winner by technical knockout. Oh. Finger Boy. Give him the finger. Finger Boy. Right up, yeah. The Finger Boy. Nice job. Get it up, yeah. <laughs> Get it up, yeah. That would have been a nice option as well. Get it up, yeah. Get it up, yeah. No, as a play on Finger Boy. Yeah. It's going like, it's going further down the yeah. evolutionary scale of. Yeah, maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year. Maybe next year. When it really catches, when Finger Boy catches on, we might go. He one might step cry further. a lot this year, so he could he's be gonna sucking. cry and he's, swear a lot. Yeah, he's angry. He's an angry. Das ist unten angry, ja. Yeah. Hey guys, what's happening? Please, what are you doing? I just want to get a fast car. <laughs> All right. Okay, moving on. Moving Kimi Räikkönen. And the options for Kimi Räikkönen are... Old Finn. Oh, I love that one. And Last Lap. Last Lap. But 100%. 100%. Seems high. Seems high. To the Last Lap. To last Lap. Well done, Räikkönen. You've picked your nickname. Well, you haven't. We have. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> last Lap. Suck it. Uh, Daniel Ricardo. Now, we, we narrowed it down to two, but when I put it onto Twitter, yeah. I accidentally wrote... Smiley Dan. Smiley Dan. Oh. But we've got a tie. Oh. Oh, wow. Between Smiley Dan and the personality. Ricky Rocket didn't make the cut. Didn't make the cut. Because we initially didn't have Smiley Dan in there. We cut that. But that's come out equal top on votes with the personality. So what does that mean? Does that mean that we come up with a deciding vote? It seems only fair. We're two people. Was two, well, I think we're going to vote for the same one. I think I know what you're going to vote for. Vote for. You vote. I'm voting the personality. I think I'll go with personality. Otherwise, we'd have to do rocks as a paper. I know. <laughs> and I always lose. We can flip I a coin. Always go rock. You know what I do? Every you time I play that? rock, paper, scissors. Let's do it now. Right. I bet I know this what you're going to do. This is great, great for the podcast. Uh, any Everyone money, listening at home. any money when I go rocks as a paper, I do rock. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a secret fourth option, which you'll find out. No, 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 no. That's not fun. Let's just do it. On three. One, One two, two, three. <laughs> And I went rock. And I went. <laughs> you in the I middle, went to the middle finger. You went finger boy. I said, if you ever play, <laughs> if you ever play rock paper scissors, always just, give him the finger. You got automatically disqualified. You, you're fine if you lose. I, you, you, you don't you care to lose anyway. Like, so just give him the finger. And just, I'll do it. I don't care. You lose. So you win the personality, which is what I was going to. Personality for anyway. locked in for Daniel Ricciardo. Love it. Now Verstappen, Markson, Verstappen. Now massive turnout for this one. There was five votes. You're not supposed to say that. It sounds like people don't like voting on our <laughs> Twitter. We've got more than what five is, followers. I they were just a bit put slack a zero with zero on the end of it. <laughs> Fifty people voted. Fifty people Thank voted. Thank you, Luke. Fifty. Jeez, you need your eyesight checked. <laughs> and so the options are Mad Max and the Profiterol. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. But the winner. The winner. Oh, it's close. By a by a by one decision. vote. Was it was it Gas Man that voted? Thank you, Gas Man, for voting this. Thanks, Gas Man. Mad Max. You're the man. Mad Max is the winner. Mad Max. Bravo. Well done, Mad. Sergio well done, Perez. Sergio Perez, the burrito kid and the Tijuana Tussler. Ooh. Two good names. Very good names. You came up with both of those. Yeah. You sure did. And the winner, by clear majority, the Tijuana Tussler. Oh, well done, Tijuana Tussler. Mucho bueno. Mucho gracias, He's going to be this year. He'll be right down the He's back good. with his elbows out. He is. He had his chance at McLaren and he didn't make it. Ah, so close. Oh, well. So close. Enjoy the tail end Esteban. Of the Ocon. Ocon. French stick. <laughs> or Pepe Le Pew. Well. We've I... gone for some stereotypical uh, French yeah. after the stereotypical uh, Mexican. <laughs> Pepe Le Pew is the Pepe winner. Pepe Le Pew. Ha -ha. Well done, Pepe. Well done, Pepe. Uh, do you know, the funny thing is, I was talking to a Frenchman about this. Yeah. And he said, because we know the Pepe Le Pew has a French accent. Yep. But in French, every character has a French accent. <laughs> and you were just... <laughs> so you can't you tell. You stood there with your mouth open. You went, oh my God, you're so right. I'd never thought of that. <laughs> Genius. We are up to Nico Hulkenberg. Oh, Hulkenberg. Options? Uh, Hulk Honey. Yep. And the talented Nico. Now, this is a close call. And a disappointing one. And a disappointing I one. I think. But 
Did you vote? I did. I did vote. You did vote? I did. Good. I really should have got my wife to vote. Might have mm. tipped it over the edge. Mm. So the winner? The winner. Against our greater judgment. But mm. it's your vote. We're, we've left it to you. Yep. The winner is Hulk Honey. Hulk Honey. Congratulations. I would have liked the talented Nico. Because he is a talented Nico. The yep. talented Nico. But that's cool. I'm going to throw it in every now and again. It's it was, a democracy. It was close. It's a democracy. It hey. was close. But yes, Hulk Honey is Nico Hulkenberg's nickname for 2018. Well done. Carlos Saints. Wish I was Max or That's King Carlos. Nickname. Good name. Great nickname. Doesn't he wish, wish he was, was in that seat? He does. He does wish he was in that seat. But he's not there. So, wish I was Max. King Carlos. This is a, a walk away. Wish I was Max. Congratulations. Well done. Well, well done. done, Carlos. Well done, Carlos. Congratulations. Or should I call you Wish I Was Max? Yep. That's what you're getting called. That's what you're getting called. We move over to Lance Stroll. Lance. Lance. So we gave three options because we had so many derogatory nicknames for him. We had to come it down a bit. We could only get three out there. Yep. And there was a tie between Daddy's Boy and Richie Rich. Mass's biggest fan just really didn't seem to pull anyone. No. And there was a tie between Richie Rich and Daddy Boy, so I put it out again. And the winner is Richie Rich. Richie Rich. I'm quite happy with that one. I, I like, like that. Rich. That's a good one. Next up, Sergei Sorokin for the Williams team. Mm. The two options are Little Putin. Little Putin. Little Putin. Little Putin. And Rusky. Rusky. And the winner. Rusky. And the winner is is Rusky. Hands down. Hands down your pants. The Rusky, Rusky please. Wins. Nice one. The Rusky. That's what you're now called. Yep. Next up, Brendan Hartley, the man from New Zealand, has two options, Kiwi Kid or Total Recall. Total Recall referring to the fact he's gone back to F1 after trying there with Red Bull in the junior program. The winner, quite easily. Hands down. Is the Kiwi Kid. Kiwi Kid. Well done, Kiwi Kid. Well done, Kiwi Kid. Well done to you, sir. Now, the man that voted for himself. And why wouldn't he? He's our biggest fan. He's our number one fan. Yep. The Gasmeister. Yep. The Gasmeister. Well done, Pierre Gasly, for voting, for interacting, for getting involved, joining the conversation. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. The choices for you were... Gas Man and Little Gassy. Little Pearl. And... Absolutely smashed it. The Gas Man. The gas Bravo. Man. Gas Man. Well done. Maybe that could be like a an advertisement we could do for the Gas Man. We could do something like that. Mm. Absolutely. Who's next? Uh, next up is Kevin <coughs> Magnuson. Now there's Jan Sun or Yan Sun and Suck My Balls. <laughs> and with no further ado, the it's winner is... It's got to be. Is it? It is. Suck my balls. Bravo. <laughs> well done, sir. I could just edit that out and put it at any point. You go, suck, suck my balls. my ball in the intro. Yeah. Well done. That, that name's going to stick. Next one. Uh, it was one I was really hoping for. Cross my fingers. I didn't vote for it. Everyone else did. There was whiny and there was Grosjean and on. Grosjean and on. So I thought it's a good play on words. But early on, the early running was with Whiny. Ooh. And I went, oh, no. Oh, boy. Not Whiny. And then no. bang. Straight. Just like that. Straight sets win. Boom. Grosjean and on. Grosjean and on and on and on. on and, on and, and on, on and on. I like that. That's Hopefully awesome. he won't be whinging too much this year. But we're still awesome. going to call him Grosjean and on. Awesome. Next up, Marcus Ericsson, the pay driver. Or the stay-at-home Viking. Ooh, pay driver or stay-at-home Viking. Both awesome. Great names. Gee, they're good, aren't they? And we could interchange them, but there's one winner. There is. A, it can only be one win. And the win is stay-at-home Viking. Oh, yeah. Bravo. Eating Doritos. Eating Doritos, not raping and pillaging. No. Nope. Sitting at home. Just being a new Viking. Looking the new... in the mirror. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just looking fantastic. Just looking He's fantastic. Swe- Swedish. Do they sound the same, don't they? Yeah. Very similar. Oh, there's more like... Beauty, 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 boo. Beauty, look at me. Look at me. I a car. Beauty, 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 No, that's from the Muppets. That's the chef. Swedish, Swedish chef. Swedish, Swedish chef. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we could just do that. People know it. Yeah. That's a good one. Stay-at-home Viking. I love that one. Mm, that's really good. I like it. <laughs> He's such a stay-at-home Viking. I love Viking. it. He is. Uh, next up, Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc. 
He, uh, oh. you, you, the great nickname you came up with was General Admin. General Admin. Because it's a step above the clerk. And the is le. le. It's the clerk. And clerk in is French. clerk. Yeah. So it, it made sense to me. General yeah. Admin and the clerk. So either way, it's going to be some sort of paper office work yep. nickname. And the winner is... General Admin. General Admin. Well done. Yes. Well done, voters. That's no, a good nickname. That's a good one. Uh, Lonzo. And only listeners will understand what that means. Yeah, yeah. Fernando Alonso, um, the Fonz, because he, he's got that little swagger about him. The only thing perfect with the, hair. if he was really the Fonz, he could just hit his car and fix it. He could hit that. <laughs> he'd hit that Honda. He was probably punching it a and lot. And would have been a Mercedes. It just wasn't fixing. Nah. Now he's hitting a Renault, and it's not turning into a Mercedes. No, it's not. It's not working. But for the namesake, the Fonz or the racing caterpillar. Making Hands reference down. to his quite thick eyebrows when he first started. <laughs> they were sizable. Good. Good size eyebrows. And now, the winner. Easy. Easy. Was. Hey. The Fonz. Hey. The Fonz. And the last, but by no means least, but still last, Stoffel Van Dorn. The two options are. Van Gorn. <laughs> or. That was good. Thank you. Waffle. waffle. <laughs> Not a blue waffle. Who doesn't love a waffle? And Belgium is famous for waffles. Yes. His first name Stoffel. Waffle. Why not? It makes sense. Put waffle. It together. It's Bravo. a beautiful mesh. Waffle wins. Waffle. And so, that's the nickname. Thank that's you. That's what we've decided. So Douche Canoe, Other Finn, Finger Boy, Last Lap, The Personality, Mad Max, Tijuana Tussler, Pepe Le Pew, Hulk Honey, Wish I Was Max, Richie Rich, Rusky, Kiwi Kid, Gas Man, Suck My Balls, Suck My Balls, Grosjean and On, Stay at Home Viking, oh. General Admin, The Fonz and Waffle. There's your 20 drivers Bravo. that make up the grid for We this will year. never mention their real names ever again. So <laughs> have a good memory. Write them down. We should send all our listeners a little um, key, a little, a little tablet that says... Like yeah, a Marcus list. Ericsson equals stay at home Viking. Yeah. Uh, the Fonz. I think as we go through, we can incorporate. Let's do that. We'll incorporate the name. Both names. And we'll do like a little cartoon sketch. We'll do a little sketch. So we'll put, we'll put Hamilton in a little canoe. <laughs> yeah, with a poo inside the canoe. <laughs> with a little douche sticking out of it. It's Hamilton's douche canoe. Yeah. And then the other fin. And we'll do I don't know how we, we need to do that. accents for every driver. We need to work up some really rubbish accents. We've got heaps of rubbish accents. Oh, That's undeniable. Uh, you've got one. <laughs> it's Jay German. German. <laughs> Anyone who's Eastern European. Uh, yeah, it goes straight to gay German. No problem about that. Okay, well, that's cool. We'll try to introduce it slowly. We'll just do the gradual nicknames. We can make it like a wrestler nickname. Like yeah. Lewis yes. the Douche Canoe Lewis Hamilton. Lewis the Douche Canoe Hamilton. Love it. Yep. No, that's a good idea. Dan, the personality. the personality. Ricardo. Ricardo. That makes complete sense. Okay, there's nicknames. Let's, uh, and of course, thank you very much for voting, everybody, at uh, Fing one Podcast Twitter. Um, at Fing one E-F-F-I-N-G-1 Podcast, P-O-D-C-A-S-T. Using uh, the number one. Number one. Number one. Because we, we are the number one Australian Formula One We're podcast. the only one. The well, only one that matters. We don't have that. We haven't. We can't back that up with any science. We don't know if we're them. I don't believe in science. <sighs> What's science? Praise it's fake, Jesus. fake news. That's what that is. Um, spicing up F one. Do we have time to spice up F one? Of course we do. Do we? Okay. Yep. You've so got time to listen. I've got time to talk. People have complained over the years that Formula One is getting a little bit more boring, contrite, dull, dulled down, watered down. Too many regulations. Too many rules. We like to know what you would like to do to F one to make it a bit spicier. Mm. Get it a bit steamy. Get it spicy. How can we improve Formula One? We throw it over to you and we'd like you to vote on it. So maybe we can maybe... Uh, we've got a few options. Do you have any... Have you had any thoughts on this? I've got several ideas. My wife has had some good ideas. What has she said? She very rarely has good ideas. <laughs> but she's had some today. Uh, she thinks that they should be fully kitted up in their racing attire, mm. sitting around a scale electric set mm. and qualify on a scale wow. electric set. That's pretty intense. That is full on. I don't know what that would be for like a TV viewing status. It'd be, be a little boring. A little bit. Would you follow the cars? Or would you follow? Maybe the... the grid kids could play it. 
And the grid kids would then, whoever's lining up each driver, they qualify for the driver. Yes. So you get Charles Leclerc You get front. one grid key, kid each, and they have to qualify in the scale tricks. Yeah. So you're like a little, little waffle. Little waffle. Versus. What's a little waffle? A Delicious. Petite waffle? A bit of chocolate drizzling on top. <laughs> Delightful. They get the kids to qualify. Okay, there's one idea. Let's just go throw it. Have you got an not, idea? Not bad, Hayley. Uh, I've got one. It's the driver relay. So it's a qualifying Ooh. method. It's like the luge that they did in the Winter Olympics. <laughs> so they start with the female. She goes off. She does her lap. Then the male goes. He does his lap. They touch a little target at the end, which signals that these people to touch go a little to the what? next one. There's a little target. At the end of oh, the thing, me. they sit up and they hit this target. Then the next one goes from the top of the run. So they get a green light to go, then they push off. And then they've got the two-man luge, which is one of the <laughs> gayest things I've ever seen. No, When two you know guys lay on top of each other, Greco-Roman wrestling is nothing compared to the two-man luge. Two guys in Lycra, don't, how do they lock in? Don't you mean it's the skeleton? That's, isn't no, that when they lay on top of each no, other? No, that's the luge. Oh, two-man luge. luge. Yeah, well, on top of each other, feet oh. first. The one guy at the bottom just that's right. Who's that sits poor? there and vibrates to the guy on top. Yeah, the poor little guy at the bottom. But that's the idea. He doesn't have an option. So someone will take off from the grid. Yep. So let's say Verstappen goes first. Yep. Does his lap as he crosses the lap. Yep. Light goes on. Ricardo takes off for his lap. So the overall lap time signifies where they're going to start. That's good. That is a really good idea. Driver relay. Clever. This is it. That's my idea. Mm. And I've got others. Have you got but that's the best one. Um, I've got a few here. I might just go through some of the shitter ones <laughs> and not mention them. Uh, my wife had another idea, which I think pff, it's Good not. Luck, Hayley. I can't. I can't imagine this is going to be popular for the Twitter voters. Have you got to answer a quiz question during your pit stop? <laughs> <laughs> you arrive at the pit stop. <laughs> and, and I think her suggestion was, my wife's suggestion was, you have, um, what's that game where you stick some, a celebrity head on your forehead <laughs> and only the other person can see who it is? <laughs> so I don't know who you're playing it with. I don't know who Vettel's playing it with when he arrives in the pit stop. Maybe some of the guys that are doing the tyre. Yep. I don't know and how that the works. the lollipop in front and go, this is... Yeah. I'd love to play right now, mate, but I'm kind of busy. <laughs> and, so let's probably just ignore that That's one. That's not a, you know, I, th- I think you're using your wife's name. <laughs> these are your oh, ideas. Come on. <laughs> I'm not blaming. That wasn't my idea. Well, I might have had something to do with it. Um, I had one, which I think you might like. You've got to do your qualifying lap eating the native dish of your country. <laughs> of your country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, okay, for the Rusky, being Russian, he's got to eat one of those cabbage dumplings Ooh, while that's he's gonna make, in the full that's lap. That's going to be a nice... That's not easy, no. with, especially with that, with that halo. That could get in the way. Yeah. Um, you're turning, you're eating, you're changing gears. You, it's mess Chibits everywhere. Could do it. He drives one hand. Yeah. Oh, he'd be awesome at it. Polish sausage. No, but he wouldn't. No, well, you have to be under the helmet. No, but the Kavita wouldn't because he he's driving well. He's eating with one hand. And that hand can't hold anything. That's like a gammy arm. Yeah. It's basically useless. So that's what he does anyway. Drives one handed, eats with the other. Oh, I see what you mean. I don't know how they're going to get his elbow in get the Get up in the, inside the... Under the helmet. Under the helmet. Under the balaclava. There's flaws. There are flaws to this idea. Uh, Maybe they should eat a there's traditional more dish of the track. So where they are. So if they're in Australia... Spaghetti bolognese. They have to eat a lamington. I don't think spaghetti bolognese is an Australian I was dish. thinking Italy. <laughs> I was thinking Dan Ricardo. He would put that shit away. He would. He would be great on the spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, good, there's a good option. Maybe we... We could throw that a host dish. We could throw your host dish of the country there. Yeah, let's not go a meat pie for every no, track Remington. that Dan because Dan's going to get sick of meat pies real fast if he's got to eat a meat pie yeah, in every qualifying like you lap. You go to the you know Chinese Grand Prix. Yeah, sushi, awesome. Let's right. go some dumplings in China. Sure. <laughs> no, that makes more, way more sense. It's a man of the world. Let's go. Yeah, dish of that country you're qualifying in. Yeah. Have you got? Any, are you got another one? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, reverse parking. These, oh, it's about time. <laughs> these guys are apparently the best drivers in the world. Let's put let's put it to the test. Can they reverse park in a Formula One car? In one go. In one go. Without having to go forward and back. They've you got just cones go in the way. Straight in. You have to go in. And you can't correct. You can't no, go forward. No forward it's just one in. One in. So you've got a car oh, in front. And maybe. A car behind. No. 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 These no. are the best drivers in the world. These are the best. Reverse parking. If you can't reverse park perfectly, you shouldn't be in a Formula One car. That's right. So is this for qualifying? 
Well, this is just for the race. This is just instead of the race. This is just to prove just for shits and giggles. That, you, you, next time you reverse parker, I am better reverse parker than Lewis Hamilton. Maybe it's like pre-show to the big race. It's just like okay, now before we uh, hit the racetrack for the big race, let's see them reverse park. Everyone, get in there, All have right. a crack, let's and have then a bit of you can go. Hey, look, I'm Ooh. better than you know the. Yep, and you lose points. On the total score that you do score in that race, oh, that's harsh. You deduct points that you lost in your reverse parking. There'll be some teams that will never have points. That's a good point. No, there's the flaw. <laughs> McLaren's on negative points. How can you take away points you don't have? Good point. <laughs> uh, um, this um, is a showcase. I've got a showcase thing. Oh, you know what I love? How about this one for oh. an idea? I love that idea, by the way. Reverse parking. I think that should be an option. What about this? Drivers qualify by driving someone else's car with a lucky dip scenario. Ooh. So before qualifying, put your hand in the hat. Oh, and you've pulled out. Oh, no. I've pulled out a Williams. I, I'm Lewis. I'm the douche. I'm the douche canoe. Hey, guys. I'm the douche canoe. So uh, I got to qualify in a, Let's a just Williams. Go back to gay German. No, that sounded <laughs> a bit like someone else. But anyway, yeah, you've got to qualify in someone else's car. And where you land in that qualification, you then, for the race, start in your car, but in that spot that you qualified in the shit car. Can I add a caveat to that? Please do. To make it somewhat fair, you do one lap in your car, and then you do one lap in your other car. So there's an aggregate time between the two. I like the pure randomness of just putting your hand in that hat and pulling out the worst car, and Vettel is now qualifying in a Sauber, Mm. and he has to start at the back. I like the idea. See, once you start going aggregates, it starts getting back to just normal qualifying. Yeah. What do you think? I like your idea. Okay, let's lock that one in. Lock it in. I was a bit too eager there, wasn't I, with locking that in? You, well, you won me over. You sold me. You sold me. You had me at hello. You, 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 sold, you could sell ice to Eskimo. You had me at reverse parking. You could sell a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves. Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard that one before. There you go. Uh, the, I have one. It's uh, it's a zero to 100 mile an hour, so it's 160 k's an hour, back to zero, no locking in the brakes. So a performance test, just to show how good the cars are. Oh, dude. So there's three cars, and it's like a knockout. Yeah. The one it goes through to the next round, the next three That's... cars come out, have a crack, same thing. I like that. It's good for to learn, like redo their starts, like to to get their clutch positions right. Say, hey, zero to 100, back to zero. It shows how good the braking is in a Formula 1 car. That's a good one. It may be over in like three seconds. But <laughs> but that's a good test. You would you show how good it is. I like that. Mm. That's got to be an option. Yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, oh, no. Oh, what about... Wait, wait. Oh, we got more? Oh. I do have a few more, actually. Uh, what about... These from your wife as well. <laughs> no, this is, these are now getting into my, ter- is my territory here. I can't blame this on anyone else. <laughs> Uh, this is my three-year-old uh, daughter's Emily. She wants uh, all all drivers to be driving in the exact same spec cars. Ooh. Not a new idea. Not a new idea because I would, for once and for all, like to know who's the fastest fucking driver. You know what I mean, mate? No, I mean geezer. I think if you want to go, you know what I mean. For a single spec car, you want to go to Formula E. True, if, but I think, don't I you think... once just want to know who's fastest in the exact same car? I would love to know that. It's never going to happen. No. And you don't really... I mean, there goes the mis- the mystique and the beauty of Formula One. You won't see... Well, what's the point of Ferrari being in there? A Mercedes, well, they wouldn't be in there. Ferrari have actually said if Formula One goes into sort of like a... They're narrowing the, the scope of development. Yeah. If they keep narrowing it, they're like, we don't want to be here. We want to open it up. Yeah, to more manufacturers. And I think more <clears throat> uh, engineers want that scope opened up because they've been narrowed so much. So they're just adding and subtracting. You need more things. manufacturers. I think you definitely do. Just open it up. Let let people imagination go wild. Similar to what they did in the eighties, where you'd have you'd have turbos, you'd have non turbos, but there'd be specifications to sort of keep them in a relative right. um, development range. Yeah. But also, then you can develop the cars in ways that you go, wow, that's really impressive. Pushing the boundaries of engineering. Yep. After and that's all. that's what F one is the pinnacle of motorsport should be the pinnacle of engineering and the pinnacle it's of design. It's always been that way. So it's come up with heaps I, uh, of cool like stuff. It. Yeah, no, I I don't like it, but I do I do want to know who the fastest driver is. Mm. Um, we'll know that we'll in know that. Abu Dhabi November. Ooh, uh, 
Do we have another one in us of your suggestions? Um, there's a burnout figure eight challenge. Oh. See who does the cleanest number eight on the on the Ooh, track. Oh, nice. Just to throw a bit of hooliganism in there. Yeah. I have a shopping bag challenge. It's not like Ready, Steady, Cook. <laughs> how many grocery bags can they fit hanging off various appendages of the car? Oh. And also they come back after a lap. Oh, under a, It has to be sort of a fastish lap time, but a time that every car can do. Without and that they're all still on there. Bag. And like they'll have eggs in them. So eggs in one, milk in another one, all your valuables. So then you've got your, you know, if it, the eggs are broken, you get minus points. Again, just for sure. Oh, yeah, you add a second for every egg you broke. This Genius. Is, this is something that should That's happen. forward thinking. That's what that is. Shopping bag challenge. <laughs> shopping, bag, shopping bag challenge. I, I would like to see uh, IndyCar come up with the visor um, oh, camera. So what about camera F1V and IndyCar? Oh, Bring that on. I know who would win. Formula One car. Yeah. It wouldn't be a fair fight. But It wouldn't. I, I, but I'd still like the to... The thing that I like about IndyCar is IndyCar has no power steering. Yeah. So they're a muscle to drive. Yeah. And F1's got power steering, a little bit easier to drive. They're still faster, high Gs, harder brakes, lighter cars. Mm. But there's something about IndyCar that just ha- bit still raw. has that. Oh, very it's raw, raw, mate. It's raw. It's edgy. Just their, their engine noise is ear piercing. It's the old combustible engine just going mental, yeah. going nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Proper. Proper nuts. My face went weird when I said that. It did. Nuts. But you're always pretty. Thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, I think they should have a visor camera on every car. Something that IndyCar's brought in this year. Yep. Every Just above <coughs> the helmet, we'll have a, a camera there. Yep. May not be good with a halo, but we'll get rid of that halo. Let's get rid of it. Just pry it off. And the last one, which is, which is one of the ones from my friends at work. Oh, yeah. Who calls. I said, oh, I've got a, an F1 podcast. And they said, oh, yeah. What's the F1 stand for? Fun one? You went, yeah, that sounds right. And then yeah, you took it. advice from this person? Yeah. You took a, yeah, right I on. T- I right took on. genuine advice. I can't advice. wait to hear what they suggested. They suggested bumper F1 cars. Not a silly suggestion. See? Surprisingly good for someone that thought that <laughs> F1 stood for fun one. fun one. Hey, I have fun with it. Bumper. Jeez, I tell you, you'd be good at that. Kvyat, bring him back. <laughs> It'd be good. Uh, no one left. Is Sebastian just... would be good at that. But what what the the bumper cars also have is that middle wheel that just rotates your car. Like if you turn your steering wheel, yeah. it just goes in reverse. It just goes in reverse. So that should be it. That's a There's great a idea. There's a middle fifth wheel that you just pull down. Boom. Boom. Flip it around. Bang. See you later. Take that. Take that. Yeah. Every time you make a mistake, you go reverse. Kvyat will have... People knocking Bring down him his door. back, wasn't he fun? And Maldonado, oh, crashed Donato. So any of those Japanese drivers, they're all great for <laughs> great value when it comes to crashing. Kobe Ashi, was it? <laughs> Kobe Crashy. Kobe Ashi. <laughs> Kobe Ashi. Oh, one more. Uh, it's not very good. Uh, spread it over th- the points over three races in one day, rather than your favourite driver crashing out in the first corner. And you go bugger, pack my bags, I'm going home. Let's go, oh, he's cool. He's got two more chances. He's got two more short races coming up where he could take the points. Split the points. It's kind of like V8s do it. You know, they have three races. But I think that's a, an option if you don't want to see Dan Ricciardo out in the first corner. I think corner. there has been some some talkings about having a Saturday race and a Sunday race. GP2 run a Saturday race is what you qualify in. From position one to eight, they get rotated. So if you finish eighth, you start mm. from pole in the next race on the Sunday. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. So it's not a full reverse grid. Which I thought of that. Can we mention that one? You didn't. We didn't we didn't come up with that. No. That's a brilliant idea. So it's if you come first, you've got to start from last. No, you start from eighth. Why not? So start you don't from go last? full last. Why not see them come? Uh, but wouldn't that be amazing watching? It's them go great. Like a the... lot of the great drives last year happened from engine penalties from Red Bull and Mercedes where guys would just drive through the field and mad oh, I would love Belgium. to see a reverse grid where the worst cars are at the front. Yeah. The and unfortunate see, thing is when you get guys who are from the back at the front, they're really defending the positions. There's, like I've seen it in V8 races. V8 races used to do some reverse grid and it was carny. But fun. <laughs> so fun. There's a lot of money on the line. I get it. I don't get why they don't want to do it. But it's so... Imagine watching Dan or Lewis just carving up through the, but that, the back. That's what we did with engine penalties. That's what they gave us. Yeah, right. Like Ricardo's drive... At, at Monza last year was phenomenal. Yeah, but they're the races you remember. Those cool races like that. Like that one in Kosturkistan. 
Durka Durka Stan. That was an amazing race. You know, there's dudes going Has everywhere. It been That's For close, those of you close enough. Home. Yeah, same region. Lovely people. Love love lamb on very the very sandy. On the, very sandy, but love a good lamb on the grill. Get a good tan. That's the kind of idea. Like just just carving through cars. I think that's brilliant. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's a few there. There is. We'll 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 narrow them down. We'll put it on the um, effing one, O N E, podcast. For you to, to uh, vote F-ing on. Effing one, E F F I N G number one. You don't have to spell it out. P O D C A S T. Well, I guess you, no, you kind of do. The one. No, you're right. I kind of have do. to. Um, so go to the uh, yeah, go to our Twitter page and vote on the the options of ways to spice up F one. Yeah, we can make it like a knockout qualifying. That's a great idea. Rounds, the lowest three will get cut. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, whatever. We'll go. Yeah, we'll do a look at that. Um, can we do a quick preview into Melbourne before we uh, crack on? I'm going there. I'll be at the race. No, I'm just saying. You will be. I'm just saying. Don't rub it in. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm going to call you. <laughs> I'm going to call you trackside. I'll be in a box. I'm not going to answer. That's not true. That's probably not true. Uh, I'll be, be eating it'll be, from a box. It'll be GA. <laughs> I'll be eating my fish and chips in a, from a box. This is delicious. With no view. But I'll, I'll be down there. <laughs> I uh, can hear the cars. What are we expecting for Melbourne? Um, what are your thoughts? Who's going to win, Luke? Well, who's going to win? It's going to be between Red Bull and Mercedes. Yep. Clearly between them. Not Ferrari. No. No chance. No chance. Well, does a track not suit? If what happens in 2002 and, you know, half the grid crashes out in the first corner, maybe Ferrari might win. But, but it's going to take something like that. And you would think, I mean, I'd love to see Dan win, um, but the nerves have got to him a little bit, I hate to say, over the last year or so at home. Yeah. It could be a max win in that case. It could be. And it would be devastating if it was. Off. Mm. But uh, Ricardo, every other year he's been to Melbourne, even when he joined Red Bull the first two years, he was pretty relaxed, pretty chilled yeah. when he got to Melbourne. But this year was the first time I've seen the pressure of building the Australian Grand Prix. and it seems like it builds if you don't win it early it just builds it's the pressure of expectation when it comes to Melbourne and, yeah look and at Mark Mark, Mark Webber, Webber was got... he carried the weight and there's so much more press yeah. news printed media they all want five minutes with you and you just don't have that time to relax no and there's just that much pressure that they also put on themselves Is hopefully like... Dan can go there this year and just relax he can he, still do his media and stuff, but he just needs to relax and go in with that spring in his step he's had mm. before, where last year he was he would look downtrodden. Yep. And he couldn't wait to leave Melbourne. And you can see at the end of the race, he's gone, let's just get out of here. Yeah. Just want to get back to my trailer. Isn't it weird the psychology of it? Like it's just a racetrack. It's like going anywhere else. But when it comes down to the pressure, the middle the pressure you put on yourself, the expectation, it just weighs heavy. Super heavy. Very heavy. So that's gonna be that's gonna be tough. So we're thinking either it's gonna be a Mercedes or Red Bull victory. Yep. Um, any other surprises that you're predicting that you'd like to see? I'd like to see a bit of carnage at the back. Who do you who do you think's gonna win out of the teammates? Who do you think is gonna win for the, the season? The no the the qualifying battle between the two teammates because there's some good lineups here. Who's gonna Hamilton Bottas, who's going to qualify Hamilton, the best? Hamilton, way. So we'll, we'll, just, we'll do this nice and quick. Okay, yeah. Hamilton, Hamilton Bottas. What do you thought? Hamilton. Yep. Vettel, Raikkonen. Vettel, Raikkonen. Vettel, comfortably. I'm going to go Raikkonen. Why? For qualifying? Just because I want to be a dick. Just because you're being a dick. A little bit. Because you're just off of the ferries. Dick. You're just being stupid right now. Yeah. Ricardo Verstappen? Uh, I'm going to say Dan Ricardo to win <clears throat> the uh, championship. And, and Verstappen quality. and Verstappen to win the uh, qualifying battle. Yeah, uh, Perez and Ocon. I per- think Ricardo will win the race. I think he'll get third in qualifying, but win the race. But do you think he'll come out on top of Max in qualifying Kennedy. for the season? Ah, uh, yes. He's learnt something from last year. Yeah. Um, Perez Ocon. Perez. Ocon. I like Ocon. I like the elbows. He's I like the talented. I like the tussler. Yeah, yeah. I like Le Pew. Yeah, uh, fair Nico enough. Nico Hulkenberg, Carlos Sainz. Hulkenberg, I the talented him. Nico. I love Hulkenberg. He's a talent. Carlos Sainz is a good talent, and whoever wins this battle will have an open Ooh, seat somewhere up top. 
That's some, my prediction. One of the these, big two teams. Are, these two are great drivers. And neither of them have had a choice to get to the top team. So your, think, your thinking behind that would be that a spot opens up at Ferrari, say Dan takes that, an opportunity then at Red Bull, and the winner of this comp goes into that that seat or goes into Mercedes? If Ricardo stays at Red Bull, Sainz will have an option for Ferrari or Mercedes. Mm. If Hulkenberg beats Sainz, he will He's go got to Mercedes. The options. He's, He's a Mercedes. German driver in a German car. You know what we say about that in Germany? You know what we say about that in Germany? And then they'll have a real... Nico. Das ist gut. Wir fahren to German guy in the car. Okay? Just relax, guys. <laughs> Are you okay? You turn your mic off. I feel all alone. I feel like I'm at sea with just a dinghy and a... I think he's back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the <laughs> MCG. Super for that. Uh, next teammates, head to head, we've got. What are we up to? Lance. Lance Stroll. Sergey Sorokin. I think Sorokin will wipe the floor <coughs> with Stroll. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And Stroll will have his last year in F1. Oh, sad. It's been a pleasure. Goodbye, Daddy's boy. Could, See you later, you Richie Rich. Rich. Catch a letter. Bye. Bye. <laughs> He's uh, Canadian. I don't know why we're doing that voice. <laughs> You're uh, doing that voice. Hey, you joined in. Uh, you love it. I'm a man for the masses. You are. Uh, Toro Rosso? Brendan Hartley, Pierre Gasly. Mm. I think Gasly the gas have man. the upper hand. Definitely gas man. For quality. But and I the fact Hartley, that he voted. Well, he is a, he's a favorite of ours. Yeah, he does. He votes on our... Uh, but I have a soft spot for Hartley. Twitter page. Um, Hartley, his race pace... It'll be better. Magnus and Grosjean. Um, Grosjean and on. Grosjean and on. And on Ericsson and on. Leclerc. Um, Leclerc for me. The clerk. The general admin. The general admin will wipe the floor Absolutely with Absolutely smash him. With the stay-at-home Viking. He will maybe stay at home next year. I think it might be time for him to stay right in Ikea. Just in the meatball <laughs> section. Enjoy those meatballs, Mag. We got uh, Fernando Alonso and Stoffel Van Dorn. Oh, the Fonzie. The Fonz, but Van Dorn will, I reckon he'll out qualify him five times and that will hold him in good stead. Yep. But if it's a terrible year for McLaren, which I hope it's not, Alonso will go to Renault. Be cool. Well, Be let's, cool. Um, thanks for listening. I think we've uh, ticked all the boxes. We're wrapped up. Anything else you want to add there, Lucas, before the big race in Melbourne, um, Australia? I do. There is something I want to add. Please do. Um, hi, Mum. Uh, oh, can I add something else? Hi, Legs Mum. All right, so that's it. Let's wrap it up. Thank you very much, Lucas. Lucas and Thank Adam, you, Adam signing off for Effing One Podcast. Uh, Effing E F R I N G One, the number one podcast. And uh, effectively, the number one, the only Australian F1, F1 podcast. podcast. We can't back that up with any I science. Can. We just did. Yep. Get over it. Yep. Um, see you back here after Melbourne. Yep. It's going to be awesome. Uh, enjoy. Let's go, Ricardo. See Come you. on. See you much.